Okay, so we're about the midway point now with the mash. Let's see if you want to have a look at the mash there. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Look at that. So we're ready now. As long as I don't chuck all this over the floor, we're ready now to tip in these oats. Smell. Do you know that's the one thing with brewing and using cameras that you guys don't get a sense of, and that is that wonderful smell, Callum. Yeah, the hot. Wonderful. Is. You can you get the it's the breakfast. aroma of all of that. Well, yeah, yeah. Breakfast. Yeah. Oaty. Very oaty. Look at that. So the reason why we're putting oats in the beer, we're, we're trying to create a creamy mouthfeel for our creamy and rich for our double IPA. And also the oats will give a lot of that haze as well in, in the beer. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right, so um, one of the parts of the brewing processes which you all love is of course hops. So when we want to brew a double IPA, you've got to choose your hops and you've got to choose your hops wisely really for, well, you want, to, you want your double IPA to be tasting great. So Callum and I have been chatting about hops and of course Steve, the brewer, is filming. And we've decided to go with Citra, Amarillo, Amarillo, Amarillo Galaxy. and Galaxy. So Galaxy is Australian. Absolutely. And then these two are, is this British Citra or American Citra? That's American Citra. American Citra. And then we've got some American Amarillo. American Amarillo. So yeah, just sort of plus so can get that first whip. So that Galaxy is so, it's like citra in a lot of ways, but it sort of exhibits a bit of a... Yeah, get a good crush on that. Right, so what we want to do is crush this up as much as we possibly can. Give it a rub. Am I okay to rub on? Yeah, rub on the floor. Bit of a, bit of a rub. After. And then what you're doing, you're getting all of the smells from the hop. Oh, absolutely wonderful. It's a nice hot one. That, that, is, that is wonderful. And then we save it by putting it back in the bag. Um, hops so, are hops so, you know they're, 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 it's almost like gold isn't it um so terrific smelling hops so you're breaking up you're getting your hands are slightly sticky you're breaking it up especially when you get hot flowers when you're rubbing the flowers together such a different aroma on that amarillo it's more like a hint of that european noble hop it still has the fruitiness it's a harder hop that yeah. You get different styles of pellet, and the hardness of this hop makes me think, oh, that will work better in my whirlpool than mm -hmm. in my fermenter, but things like this you mull over midnight yeah, yeah. yourself in bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, a little funk on it, a little yeah. funkiness, a little skunky funky. Lots of orange notes. Citrus orange, yeah. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's another beautiful one. So yeah, we're going triple bang on some lovely hops. Yeah, it's also, would you like to smell an experimental variety out in the fridge that we could throw out here as well? Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, th this is the thing with these hops, is, is that we can, we can add and take away whatever we want. So if we want to add a fourth hop, it's just experimental, is it? Yeah, it's um, HPC 630. It's one of Yakima Chi's sort of breeding program hops. Okay. Um, Again, yes. I think it's 630. <sighs> That's, that's really full on, that citra. Really zesty, really zesty, isn't it? Yeah, lemon rind. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. A more refreshing zing, as it were. Fantastic. Mm. So there oh, are the hops. That breaks up lovely. Look that. Yeah, look at that. Have a, have, a, have a good look at that. You can almost still see the flower as part of the pellet. Mm. Proper flakes up. It's beautiful. Wonderful. So there are the hops going into our double IPA. Cheers. Right, so we've done a hop selection. Yep, all ready to go. Yeah, so we're gonna do the Amarillo Citra and a bit of Chinook actually inside in the end, didn't we? Yeah, you had a little bit of Chinook left over from a previous brew, so we're gonna throw this in as well. Get it so, in there, so I go. Any particular way this goes in or? Uh, just pour it in, and then when you, when the like partially cooled work comes in, it will mix it all up nicely and get it all, my favorite word today, homogenized. And then, yeah. uh, carry on? Yeah, chuck it all in, mate. Enjoy. Oh, so this is the Amarillo. Oh, I love that Amarillo. It's 
Yeah, get in, put another look. Wonderful. And then the last bag is presumably the citra. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll add a couple of other bits in the uh, dry hop. But... Yeah. That will give us a nice base flavor and aroma of all that American citrus character that we're looking for in this dip. Yeah, and, and some a little bit of bitterness maybe because it's, 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 Oh yeah, with the with the boil, it's gonna you're gonna be dragging some of that bitterness out, which is I, I think it's I think it's, I like bitterness in beer personally. Absolutely. Uh, it's a double IPA. It's not a New England double IPA, is it? No, no, but it's... So it's, it's going to have some bitterness in it, this one. It, oh, am absolutely. I right? Or am I yeah, completely jumping correct. Jumping ahead of myself. I, I think it will have some bitterness. And when you add lots of late stage hop, yeah. you get another kind of bitterness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get that kind of raspy, planty thing mm -hmm. sometimes. So not too much. It's all about balance and bitterness, sweetness, flavour, just to make a real drink. Pie. Yeah. Even though it's an eight percent massively uploaded thing, you still want to be able to smash it. So what you won't see is you won't see in this video the hops going in the fermenter, the dry hopping. That's where you get a lot of that kind of juicy oh. flavour. Oh, oh well, oh, that oh okay, or maybe we will. So what we're doing with this dipper is we're doing a three-stage aroma hop. So we've got the whirlpool. Yeah. We're gonna have a start of fermentation dry hop that we're gonna do today. Okay. And then we're gonna have a post-fermentation dry hop, which I'll do next week when you're not here. And then that's it. Yeah, yeah. So it will it will go in. It's just some of it may not be on the video. Absolutely. And then you'll come on back down to taste it once it's all done. It's Three awesome. to four weeks. We gotta taste it. Absolutely. Yeah, it should be really good. Okay. One of the favorite things to do for me in the brewing process is to try the words. This is the first indication, the first look at the beer. There's the colour, yeah. nice and light. So Definitely. we are going to anti-clockwise this tap, and this is going to be warm. She'll come. <laughs> there we go. Lovely hot work. <laughs> Should be nice and sweet. Strong beer. So. Warm, sweet word. Smells delish. I love it, sir. You can smell those oats in that. Really light. Very, very light. Yeah, yeah. no dark marks in there. Mm. It's all just nice. Pale little business. Ah, oh, so good. I you know where they make Horlex from, don't you? An oval tree now. When you, when you, when you, someone's obviously thought we could do something with this. And mm. It's made oval tea, oval tea from it. Oval from it. It's fantastic, especially it's a February, nice blue, sunny February day out there. But it's still February, and it's still nice to have a glass of hot wood. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, so. This is grain out. This is the grain out stage. So all of this grain makes its way to the farmer eventually for pig and cow feed, yeah? Most of the cow feed, yeah. They love it though, don't they, the, the animals? Absolutely. Love it. Absolutely. They say we should get more of it. Because they, they I've heard stories of like when they when they see the wagon coming with it all in, the cows and the, the sheep and the pig, they'll run, literally oh, yeah. run across the field for it. Most of it's also started warm in the centre, so obviously they can get their heads into a nice bit of warm. Yeah. Mat. Love it. So, time for the tasting. Absolutely. This is Slipway. It's a hazy session IPA, 5% ABV. Yep. Is it right calling it a session IPA? Well, in the world of 8% dippers, it's relatively sessionable, isn't it? Yeah, 5%, 5%. Looking at the beer, lovely. Lovely, little, loads of haze going on. A nice colour to it as well. Yeah, what it's you think? that yellow beer club. Definitely that nice, beautiful haze, opaqueness. That's from all those flaked oats. So I used a similar kind of grain build to our dipper today. It's just yeah. a lot less than that. Oh, that is really juicy. You can tell, and I'm not sure if you're the same as me, but you can tell that I get it to get my nose into a juicy beer because my mouth salivates and you can yeah. almost hear me like, yeah, that's you, you know, it has <laughs> salivating. In, oh, wonderful. Let's, uh, 
Well, first of all, I mean, it's no good just saying one of them. What are you getting? Ma mango? Yeah. Yeah, I get sort of peachy Passion notes. Fruit, peachy. Yeah. And a nice floral kind of back note as yeah. well. Yeah. It's yeah. like a, perhaps an elderflower or something like that. Yeah, passion fruit. Hops. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of hops. Yeah. Do you want to play guess the variety? Oh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon I'm rubbish there? at that. Let, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Why not? I don't seem to know what's in there. Check the stuff is in there. Right, so I'm going to say citra. No. Nope. No? I told you I was rubbish at this. <laughs> All the seeds. Uh, Chinook, Centennial, Cassie. Yeah. No C's. No C's. No C's. C's. I'm rubbish at this game. A touch more um, modern. It's a Simcoe and Idaho 7. So you were in the right ballpark with an American pop character. Yeah. But Simcoe and Idaho 7. Simcoe and Idaho 7. Yeah. yeah. Too hot combo on this one. It's really nice though. It's still a bit raw because we did just take it off the dual purpose vessel. We're going to centrifuge it over to bright. You might get a little bit of that plant matter mm. kind of flavour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So once we sort of get the solids off of it, that'll be tasting a lot smoother and creamy and I might get a taste by the end of the day once we've done processing it. I think that's wonderful. Mm. I really do. I think yeah. that's really wonderful. That's kind of probably the direction you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. And of course the, the brewing tea. Yeah, absolutely. I mean the direction we seem to find ourselves going here is an option of beer, no matter what beer you're looking for. You can come into the tap room here, inhale, and get whatever beer you're looking for. Like we've got a stout on, we've got a variety of pails, we've got some ambers, you know, you name it, we can do it. Nice temperature, of course, fermentation. Yeah, it's at a nice cold. Yeah. What, what temperature do you hold the beer at when you ferment it? So, this was fermented at 20, dry hopped at unlucky 13, mm -hmm. because I like to play with fate. And then um, I've just conditioned it down to sort of minus one to get all the matter off. I'll probably, in bright, I'll probably have it at a slightly higher temperature for canning, just because I'd like to get a nice foam top, get all that. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. Really, really nice. I like that. Yeah, I'm happy. Slipway. Yeah, yeah. Remember it. It's yeah, gonna be around for a long time. <laughs> nice brewery. Nine out of ten for me. Nine. Nine. I really like that. What do you think? I'll give it an eight, but I, I don't ever give myself higher than an eight because that would be too comfortable. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Right, we're going for the first hop additions yeah, for nice. their boil. Three Here we kilos go. of magnum, get a nice bittery to balance out all that sweetness you put all that. Because you want all the mouth but you don't want all the sweetness. So. There it goes, there yeah. it goes. So, apparently these hops down here, any minute now, they're going to start spinning around inside this vessel. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that for a bit of footage. There it is, and there it's gone. Callum, what an awesome, awesome day we've had today. Yeah, excellent. It's been fantastic. It's been smooth running, wonderful. It's time to pitch the yeast, let's get it in. Alright, get it all in. And that's it. In the industry, we put the lid on the brew. We're done. Stone the crows! <laughs>